Hello, I'm James Cronin, and this year, 2018, we were awarded funding as part of the President's Award for Innovative Forms of Teaching and Learning, and in collaboration between Adult Education, UCC, and the Education Unit Court Prison, we are building a resource library to help students and art teachers think about their practice in the studio. We've just finished a course on Impressionist art and we find that this work by Taschen is very helpful because it gives students the experience of seeing high quality reproduction in a virtual gallery context. We are interested in the dialogue between text and image and an artist, poet, engraver such as William Blake is a very good example in demonstrating this for students. In terms of art history, we experience and explore periods such as the Italian Renaissance and what I like in particular in this Taschen series is that it guides students into thinking how to look intently at a work. What are the type of questions you would ask about an artwork and how does this inform both practice and understanding of the context in which the artwork was produced? We are also interested in the dialogue in the arts between East and West and Hokusai is a fine example of this. We also look at genres of painting such as landscape, still life and portrait which are so central to the canon of Western art. Students are particularly interested in thinking about paintings as sites of power and here we are looking at the kind of hidden codes and details within a painting that informs maybe hidden ideas that are not so evident on first glance so it encourages students to look intently. I particularly like this uh, scene of the death of Marat the type of questions it asks is, why did Mara have to die? Who was the letter for? Who was Charlotte Coday? Did David know Mara? These type of questions are very helpful in guiding students into thinking about how you read an artwork. And what I love about the Tashin series is it gives us a sense of the materiality of art, um, as you see in the way in which this book is held together in a very Japanese style. And this fine reproduction of the work of Hieronymus Bosch, deep in symbolism and allegory. This again is something that is of interest to students and they'll often take elements uh, of uh, composition and create a pastiche through collage, which also is rich in personal symbolism for them. And so I think it's very useful that they have examples from the past, such as the work of Hieronymus Bosch, to show them how artists in previous centuries went about exploring these themes. Thank you.